Hey, DP, it's Friday. That's right, kiddos. We've almost made it to the weekend, but for now, you are in third period, which means... It's time for news. Cowboys and Cowgirls, the Sadie Hawkins dance is coming up in two weeks. Tickets will go on sale a week from this upcoming Monday, so get ready for a good old country night. In tradition, this is a Girls Ask Guy dance, but y'all don't need a date to have a good time. Go stag, go in a group, heck, go with your cat. The future of Morp depends on the success of this dance, so if you want to have even one more hurrah at Morp before the year is over, buy tickets for Sadie's. A huge congratulations to those DP artists who were chosen f as finalists for the 2014 Channel Keeper Student Art Show. Alina Wasjudin and Anjanetsi Vera are cash winners, while students Jake Compton, Thomas Ibbotson, Alexander Parks, Melissa Perez, Chris Zermeno, Manny Unsueta, Jocelyn Val Valdez, and Jack Blinker are also finalists. If you didn't get a chance to go see their pieces, you go ahead and check them out because these are some very, very talented individuals. Have you ever asked the question, how would Disney princesses act in The Hunger Games? Or maybe you sit and wonder what a Disney villain group's therapy session would be like. Or even possibly you want to know what a self-defense class taught by Mulan would be like. Well, tonight in the Little Theater, these questions and more will be answered by DP's very own TV, film, and playwriting class. Come see this student-written show at 7 tonight and support your theatrical peers. Today the mobile cafe will not be up by the, little, by the theater. If you want your meals, you're going to have to go inside to the cafeteria for your nutrition. Clubs meeting today are the Anime and Manga, Chess, FSEA, Good Humor, and Improv Clubs. Men's Lacrosse has a meeting today at 3 outside B13. Monday is a deadline for the IB applications. Get those turned in for, some, for this awesome program that you will have a great advantage in for college application process. Okay, well that's all the news today. DP, have a great weekend. Now here's John with sports. Yesterday, our boys tennis team headed down to Thousand Oaks for a non-league match and had a great game and left TO with a 16-2 win. Again, Mason Cassidy and Joshua Wang, who gave up only two games, followed by Greg Staggerwald and Andrew Tufakian. Ankush Kamani and Noah Glushenkov and Dylan Zapata and Sanit Shabar swept in doubles going 9-0. Great job. In singles, we took seven sets. Patrick Corpus and Miles Baldwin led the way, winning all three of their matches. Freshman Miles Baldwin went up against Jaden Siplachi, a three-star recruit, and in an intense, long battle, came out on top, winning 6-4. Great win, boys. On Monday, the boys' volleyball team starts their season with a game here against Newbury Park. So come out and support. On Tuesday, boys baseball starts their season with the game against Calabasas at our field. Well, that's all the sports news I have for you. I'm John from DP News. Have a good weekend, DP. Just a small town girl living in a lonely world. She took the midnight train going anywhere. Just a city boy. Born and raised in South Detroit. He took the midnight train going anywhere. Do, 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 do. A singer in a smoky room. Smell of wine and cheap perfume. <laughs> I don't know the rest. <laughs>